Hi everyone, Dustin here from LawYourSide.com where we provide real legal help when you really need it. And you may have a deposition coming up and you want to know what am I supposed to wear to my deposition. So depositions are a very, very important part of your case. They're basically the next most important thing aside from the trial. So what happens in the deposition is the insurance carrier is going to be, and the defense attorney is going to be evaluating not just what you say and how you come across and get, gathering information, but they want to know how do you appear? How would you appear in front of a jury or how would you appear in front of a judge? Um, that's what they want to know. How are you going to come across? So if you show up to a deposition where you're dressed sort of in um, non-professional clothes, let's call it, that's going to reflect on how you're, how you're going to appear. If you show up to the deposition dressed professionally, maybe even in a shirt and tie or a suit, that would be ideal, the ideal way to dress up because then you're showing that, hey, you're taking this case seriously, you're looking professional, you're presenting yourself professionally, and it creates both a conscious and subconscious impact on the defense attorney, on the insurance carrier, so they know that, okay, this is not someone that uh, is going to show up, they're going to not be not really be seen as someone who's who's a professional person, not be seen as someone who uh, is really going to uh, hurt their case. So what I recommend is that you dress up. Shirt and tie, that would be great. If you don't want to dress up that much, at least try to go business casual or business professional. Wear some slacks, wear a collared shirt. Make sure you're looking as professional as possible because that's going to be an important part in terms of how you're evaluated. You know, there's been a lot of studies done on the subconscious impact of how you dress up. And generally speaking, when you dress up, you're taken as more seriously, you're taken more professionally. And it has both, again, a conscious and a subconscious impact on the defense attorney, on the insurance carrier. They're the ones that are going to be evaluating your case. They're the ones that are going to be recommending uh, if they want to settle and how much they would want to settle for. So the more you're able to demonstrate that professionalism um, and that credibility with them, the more it's going to help your case. So that is my recommend recommendation is that you dress up Really, go shirt and tie if you can. If you're a female, dress professionally, but at very minimum, at least do business uh, professional in your, when you're, in your dress attire. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want further assistance with your work-related injury, or you want to talk to a lawyer and get your questions answered, or you want us to represent you in your workers' compensation case, please feel free to give us a call at the number below, or click the link below and fill out a submission form. And we will do our best and work our hardest to ensure that we give you all the benefits that you are entitled to under the law, and we help you have a smooth, efficient case that runs through so you can get back to your healthiest that you can be, and also receive all the benefits that you're entitled to. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.